again in eastern Afghanistan, where a suicide bomber has killed at least 35 people. ISIL is claiming responsibility, according to officials, and the target, a crowd of soldiers and civilians gathering outside a bank in Jalalabad. CCTV's Roe Ruttenberg joins us from our newsroom live with all the details. That's right, Susan. A claim of responsibility made by a group called Islamic State Wilayat Khorasan. Khorasan refers to a historical region that encompasses parts of Afghanistan, parts of Iran, and parts of Turkmenistan. Now, this particular group's spokesman was fired last year as the spokesman for the Afghan Taliban after pledging his allegiance to ISIL. The Taliban, by the way, have denied any role in Saturday's attacks, saying it was, quote, evil. Many had suspected their involvement, as this is typically when the Taliban's spring offensive intensify. That's a campaign of relentless attacks annually. And this year, they are expecting a particularly harsh string of attacks, given Washington's backpedaling last month and announcing that it would delay uh, the withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan. But the government in Kabul is in talks with the Taliban, and that might explain why some were perhaps hesitant to accuse them in the first place. I should point out that the pictures you're seeing there on the screen have been filtered by our producers here. Many of the images, the bodies of children, the flesh strewn out on the streets, simply too graphic for us to broadcast. Now, remember, this attack was right in the middle of the day, right in the middle of a busy area. You can see some of the people injured there. It was clearly intended to maximize casualties. Saturday marks the start of the work week in Afghanistan, and many of those killed were soldiers and government employees lining up at the bank trying to withdraw their money. I had received my salary. I was not in the line. Then a motorbike came in, and I think a man in a suit went into the crowd and detonated his explosives. I heard two explosions. I can't remember what happened after that. Now, if this is indeed an attack by ISIL, it would be the group's first such strike in Afghanistan, which, of course, is already coping with years of insecurity and instability. And, Roe, as we mentioned earlier, this happened uh, close to Afghanistan's border with Pakistan. What has been the reaction from Islamabad at this point? That's right. The site of the attacks, Jalalabad, is east of Kabul, about halfway between the Afghan capital and the Pakistani city of Peshawar. Uh, and the Pakistani government, which of course has the ISI, the Internal Security Services of Pakistan, at its disposal, has offered its assistance to Kabul and Afghan military officials on Saturday were calling for greater cooperation between the two countries in fighting regional terrorism. This new enemy, which is a common enemy of all of us, and of the state systems in our region does not recognize boundaries and is not bound by any religious or moral principles. Their naked nefarious design is to undermine states and grab power through terror and fear. Now, already back in February, the top U.S. and NATO commander in Afghanistan warned of a possible ISIL presence in the country. General John, John Campbell's comments coming after a drone attack killed a former Taliban commander who had become, according to officials, a recruiter in the country for Islamic State. Susan? Roy Rettenberg, thank you for that in the newsroom.